British astronaut Major Tim Peake, who spent six months at the International Space Station, joins us from RAF Fairford. You, of course, not even born when that giant leap for mankind happened. But has it influenced you? Can you remember when you first became aware of the huge possibility of space travel? Absolutely. I mean, what a, a, an incredible achievement it was. Uh, and as we celebrate the 50th anniversary, I think anybody who was alive to see it will always remember where they were when they watched humans land and walk on the moon. And it's changed the way that we look at ourselves and we look at our world. Uh, Tim, you've, you've achieved something that no one else here in the UK has ever managed to achieve. You've spacewalked, you've been up in space, you've been on the space station, all those things, but to do that spacewalk. But is there part of you that would love to have the experience of going on the moon as well? Or do you understand that, you know what, that was something that was done back in the 70s and that's something that might happen in the future, but for you, you were all right with doing what you did? Absolutely. I mean, I, I haven't met an astronaut yet who wouldn't like to go on a lunar mission. Uh, as we're obviously involved in exploration and science, and, and the moon is a, a natural uh, step for us as we expand our presence in the solar system. At the moment, what's really exciting is we have um, very far developed plans to go back to the moon. We're currently building a gateway that will be in a, a six-day orbit around the, the around the moon, and that will facilitate lunar surface operations. And that's all part of the longer-term plan, which is putting humans on Mars. Mars, hopefully within the next 15, 20 years. So to be part of that uh, at the moment, working with the space industry is a huge privilege. There's something magical about the idea of going to the moon. I think because we look at it and we see it pretty mm. much every night and it feels like such a sort of emblem of space and the unknown. But what can we gain by going back? Why does it help us to go back again? Well, the moon actually acts as, as like a, a four billion year old repository for the solar system's history. Uh, it really hasn't changed in, uh, in millennia. And so we can learn an awful lot about the Earth's formation, about our own planet. And we can also use it uh, to develop new technologies. There's a lot of water ice still on the moon. So, for example, at the South Pole, that would make a great permanent habitation where parts of there are in permanent sunshine. So we can use solar energy for a habitation and we can use the water ice to get hydrogen and oxygen which can help astronauts live on the surface but also for rocket fuel and going on to Mars for example well Mars is a rocky planet very similar to Earth again it once had an atmosphere very similar to Earth and it's lost its atmosphere it once had liquid oceans and where there's liquid water there could have been past life there could even be present microbial life under the surface of Mars uh, we have an awful lot to learn more about our own solar system and how that can help life back here on our planet and help us to protect our own planet. Are you hoping that this anniversary will re-engage people into the excitement uh, of space travel and going to the moon? Because for a long time, it's felt like a less important way to spend our money, hasn't it, for many people? Do you like the idea that the government has pledged not a huge amount, 30 million, uh, into looking at sort of more projects towards going back to the moon? But do you like the idea that we do invest in it? Absolutely. I think it's incredibly important that we do. Um, I mean, when we have to make the distinction between the investment we make today, which costs about one pound for every European taxpayer. That's how much we pay, one pound per year, I should say. That's a, a European taxpayer versus the Apollo era, which was 4.6% of their federal budget. So nobody is spending anything like the money that was spent during the Apollo era. It's everything that we spend on space exploration is spent back here on Earth. It's jobs for the economy. It's, it's for our technology. It's for engineering. It's for medicine. The kind of medical research we're doing on the International Space Station is helping thousands of people back here on Earth. I think it's great that people are becoming more excited about space, more inspired by space. And as we reach out further into the solar system and we expand our knowledge, it's going to only have more benefits for humanity.